Good morning. Good morning. Happy Memorial Day. You, you too, but I, how do you answer that, right? As we gather in prayer today, we ask remember James Shirley in a special way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we enter into our prayer today, we celebrate the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, her visit to Elizabeth. Uh, and what a great exchange, how they really made each other more aware of God's presence, literally Jesus' presence uh, between them and John the Baptist, aware of that himself. Let us in a humble way ourselves prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, calling to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, while the Blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your Son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth, grant us, we pray, that, faithful to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exalt with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Among, among you is the great, great and holy one of Israel. Israel. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among, Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord. Acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Among you is the great and holy one. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Among, Among you is the great, great and holy, holy One of Israel. Israel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. And Mary may remain with him for about earth with her for about three months, and then return to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. we celebrate Memorial Day, I think it's important we keep in mind like some of the Catholic social teaching around war. When do we decide to, to send our own people off to that risk of, of losing their own lives only as a last resort, right? It's one of those principles of the just war theory. St. Augustine lays down and others have developed over years that we're not quick to, to send an army off. Now, it is only as a last resort. We've tried conversations and, and, and economic issues. Finally, it's, it's come to, it's time to, to put uh, our own people in, in harm's way. And so those who, who willingly, do, willingly do that go off and, and risk their lives and lose their lives. We want to honor and remember that. We should first, though, of course, be recognizing that we are brothers and sisters on the face of this earth. And, and it takes something kind of moving within us to, to make us realize that. There's something wonderful in this encounter of Mary and Elizabeth, that, that something moves inside of them, right? Like to, to, to recognize like Jesus is present, right? Some, some have said that leaping in the womb is, is John the Baptist actually genuflecting, right? The presence that his Savior is in front of him, right? That this is Jesus. What a, what a great awareness. If we could live as Mary and Elizabeth did with, you know, the, the children in their rooms aware of each other, genuflecting to one another, we wouldn't need war. We wouldn't need Memorial Day, right? So really, as we honor and pray for those who did lay down their lives for us to, to and for others, sometimes we're going to another person's area, another country, right? A place that, you know, protected freedoms for others. Um, what a great sacrifice to put others before you. In fact, if we kind of see where Mary and Elizabeth's inner exchange takes them, it takes them to this great prayer, right? Like, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. Look at that Magnificat. You know, spend some time with that in prayer. Like, like who is this great news for, right? But, but it, those who are in bad spots, right? This is great news when God is this close, right? The Almighty has done great things for me. He's going he's gonna to lift up the lowly, right? He's going to cast down those who are, who are mighty, 
So, like, there's a way in which, yes, we will, we will, we will become aware of those who are in greater need around us. So, this kind of juxtaposition this year of the visitation and memorial is, is really wonderful. There's a, a nice reflection in the, in the uh, re book I was reading before Mass of the awareness that a mother will have, you know, when the baby starts to, to move in the womb, starts to leap in the womb. It's, like, shockingly obvious that I'm not in control of this thing, right? <laughs> I'm trying to get to bed, as a matter of fact. What did I just eat? Why is this thing bopping all around, right? Like, I don't have control of this life in my womb. It, it is moving on its own. And in some ways, maybe we can kind of spiritualize that too. Anytime we accept the Lord in our lives, anytime the Holy Spirit fills us, we might start to move in a space that we weren't kind of looking to go, right? That there is a new life other than us in control. It might push us into a... a a spot like I don't know if I'm ready to get involved with that you know issue but there's a leaping there's a moving there's an attraction towards someone who is lowly who is hurt who is in pain and and I've got to get involved I've got to help st step up and do something for that person so let's listen and feel the Holy Spirit moving in our hearts and our lives this week which is the person that is cast down that they're drawn you to that the Holy Spirit's drawn you to uh, how is it you're being asked to recognize that is Jesus I've got to take action on their behalf. I've got to, to genuflect to them. There is Jesus present in front of me. And, and it's time to, to defend, to protect, to help lift that person up. So the Spirit can bring peace. It can also move us to action when someone else is being oppressed. And that's what we honor today. Those who moved to action when someone else was being oppressed. So with gratitude for those who gave their lives on Memorial Day. But an awareness that we too are asked to take action for those who are being held down. We ask the Spirit to be alive in our hearts as the Spirit was leading Mary and Elizabeth and John the Baptist to recognize Jesus. We stand together with great trust in God. We bring our needs before him this day. Let us pray for peace throughout our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who are in some way cast down or oppressed, that, that others may come to their aid and care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are currently serving in armed forces and trying to work as peacekeeping forces throughout our world for success uh, for them and for their families who worry so much about them being away. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or, or suffering, those who have asked for our prayers in our own community, that the Lord might bring them healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray as requested in this Mass for James Shirley for all of our beloved deceased, and a special way for all those who gave their lives in serving our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Let us take another moment bringing to God the many prayers and petitions which rest in our hearts this day. For one another's needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Look, God, we thank you for the many ways which your spirit stirs our hearts to action. Help us to always... Act courageously as Mother Mary showed us how to, to serve others. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Bless me now and forever. We thank the Spirit of God that we will be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice and your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. I pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands to praise and glory of his name for our good and all of all of the church. May our offer
offering of this saving sacrifice be acceptable to your majesty, O Lord, as you were pleased to accept the charity of the most blessed mother of your only begotten son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through him the host of angels, adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosts in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosts in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, Lord. Your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to take away my word. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
and let us continue to pray with our friends at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your church proclaim your greatness, O God, for you have done great things for your faithful. And as John the Baptist leapt with joy when he first sensed the hidden presence of Christ, so may your church rejoice to receive in this sacrament the same ever-living Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We continue in prayer for an end to the pandemic. O Mary, o Mary full of grace. Patroness of this nation and mother of the church. In this time of illness and worldwide need, we seek your intercession for the human family before your son's throne of grace and mercy. We ask for strength in adversity, health in weakness, and comfort in sorrow. Help us, O Blessed Mother, to be filled with the confidence and trust in the tender compassion of our God. Let us not be afraid. Like, like our own St. Mary Ann Cole, who entrusted her life and ministry among the outcasts of society into the care of our divine physician. Continue to watch over all who are sick, as well as those who care for them, and give wisdom to all who are seeking a cure. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Enjoy the day. Thank you, Father.